All right, guys, we're here at the Centret booth at Form Next 2023, and we've got a whole table of awesome materials here. This is what is currently offered from Centret. Now, they are open material systems, so you're not locked down to what they provide. You can literally put just about anything in the machine, and you get to figure it out with all the open parameter settings that they allow you in their Centret Studio Advanced. Firstly, we've got the brand new PBT Optimal. Now, this is primarily for a prototyping material. It is much more affordable than the other materials, and that's the whole point. So it's very rigid, very stiff, and you get great detail. Obviously, we can get big parts. Over here, we have their PA12 Industrial. Now, this is the baseline material for the Lisa X. This is essentially great for prototyping, but even in-use parts. It's very, very strong, and it can be used in a lot of different applications. Here you have a electronics enclosure for some sort of a multimeter, it looks like. It's a Citrate multimeter. And then moving right along, we've got the PA12 Smooth, which we all know and love from the Lisa Pro. Now this gets you exquisitely good detail, just really, really fine detail. Great, great, great for prototyping, but again, also end use parts. It is nylon 12, so it's very, very robust. You can see it's got some ductility there to it. It's not gonna shatter but it's still pretty rigid and works good for a lot of things. Moving right along, we've got the PA11 Onyx. Now this is your standard PA11, your nylon 11. Very, very ductile, very impact resistant, very strong. It's a very capable material. You can build things out of it in multiple parts. You can see it's very flexible. It's, it's your standard awesome industrial nylon that can work for a lot of different things. How do I look? Moving along, we've got the carbon fiber PA11. Now this is what most people are excited about and what we at Vision Miner really truly love. By the way, all these materials and all these systems are available at visionminer.com and we're here to help businesses understand and pick the right things for their application. So we have it all, give us a call, shoot us an email, we're here to help you. But the carbon fiber in particular has a lot higher temperature resistance and that's why we love it. It's extremely rigid. Radic was actually telling me that they took two of these and lifted up the entire Lisa X, very, very strong material, carbon fiber, great if you're making products. One of the biggest things with products is if you can say carbon fiber, you can charge more for it because it sounds cool, but it actually has functional properties. So chemical resistance, you've got heat resistance. It is probably slightly conductive, but not nearly as much as the PA11 ESD. Now this is specifically for hardware electronics enclosures, connectors like this one, this multi-part connector, Literally, you can make custom connectors, low volume run connectors for whatever you need. This is electrostatic discharge safe. That means it has generally carbon nanotubes and stuff like that inside the powder, which get fully encapsulated when you center it, but it gives that static discharge so that it's safe around electronics. As you can see here, they've got an entire pinout system for doing testing or whatever, what have you. This is a little Wi-Fi card in there. That brings me along to one of my other favorite materials, because it's very difficult on FDM, but a lot easier in SLS, and that's polypropylene. Polypropylene is one of the most chemically resistant materials and ubiquitous. You see it in milk bottles, in uh, shampoo bottle caps. The, the living hinges you see, they can move a million times and it doesn't break. It's a self-healing material. It's also pretty rigid, but usually rigidity can be achieved through geometry and part design, but either way, polypropylene is an incredible material. Chemical resistance, decent heat resistance. You can see in here, they made a pump. Sort of, I can't twist that with my hands, but very good for a lot of different applications, especially industrial. Next, we've got the Flexa Gray. Very cool material because you can actually change the laser powder that you print with. And I can just, look at that elongation. That's absolutely, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, stretchy, stretch Armstrong, look at that. You can have this more rigid, or less rigid depending what laser power you print it with. That means you can also do that within the parts. You can have some sections harder and some sections more flexible. Moving along over here, we have the colorable, dyeable Flexa Bright. Now this is another flexible material, but you can color it. So if you need parts to be red or to be different colors or customized or whatever, you can actually do that with the Flexa Bright material and it's just another great flexible to have on hand. Now this is a particularly good material. If you have HP MJF machines, then you can essentially print on the Lisa X for free because they're releasing profiles to use the HP powder 
on the machine. So you can basically take all your recycled powder, your, your junk powder that you can't reuse in the MJF machine and put it in the Lisa and use it. So if you're doing MJF, you want to reuse all that powder and save all that money and make money with the money you would have lost, definitely hit us up. If that's you, we're here to help at visionminer.com. Moving right along, we've got Flexa Performance. Now, I've had guys make shoes, sand some of the coolest sandals I've ever seen coming out of these machines. Look at that, this is Flexa Performance. This is the Lisa X Flexa that you're gonna use on the Lisa X. Now, there's so many options. It's flexible. This is like a wiffle ball, baseball. This is awesome. Another flexible, really, really good, really robust. You can make any kind of flexible parts and still get that incredible detail and the production. Again, guys, SLS, you don't have to use support materials. So you can print entire build volumes of complex geometry parts. Anyway, guys, if you got more questions about the SLS materials from Citra, we offer all their systems and all the materials at visionminer.com. We specialize in getting businesses the consulting to get them the right thing for their application, not just to get the best machine or whatever. We make sure that you're buying something that's going to work with you. If you have any questions or want to know more, interested in purchasing one of these machines, shoot us an email or just call us. Honestly, we're at the office, nine to five PST. We're always there to help you and answer your questions. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna go uh, check out some of this other awesome stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one.